welcome back to the horror show. I'm Marsha Parker. I mean, before I go here, I'm Cecil Laird. We're back with another trailer reaction. This one is called, uh, it's for a movie called Population Zero. Uh, and we literally have zero idea what it's about. <laughs> so let's do it. In, Singers. Uh, in three, two, one, and zero. go. Jellystone right. National Park. Yeah. Oh, boy. Yellowstone woke up oh, to what has to be this. the worst crime in the national park's history. We're talking about a confessed murderer here. Oh, it's One a who doc? No remorse, no mm. regret. Yeah, I'm going to tell you everything that happened. I'm going to tell you once, okay? An unusual case, and families are understandably shocked with the judge's decision. Imagine a murderer being allowed to walk the streets as a free man. But that's exactly what took place here today. <laughs> first victim was by the fire, the second one, I don't know, maybe 10 feet from it. There was an incredible amount of anger. It took a, it took a while for uh, grief to set in. I just really can't understand how a man can commit all these horrific crimes and then just talk about it like he's reciting the details of a traffic violation. The loophole was brought up to me almost exactly 24 hours before we went to the hearing. This crime could not and cannot be tried. We had a murder weapon, we had fingerprints, security footage, and a population screaming for justice. That's it, you got everything you have to talk. How could somebody that was part of our community have gone so wrong? Hey man, listen, hey, hey, buddy, hey. If ever that you've got the authority, just let them have Interested. I love those type of crime investigative uh, TV shows and documentaries. So um, I ca I'm kind of digging the spin on it. I'm not really sure where the unsettling and horror aspect is coming from. Maybe just the mind of the killer, but it mm -hmm. doesn't let you know what that is at all. I'm most curious if it's real or not. I, I think it. Well, it's presenting like a documentary, so mm -hmm. it seems very much like it is. Or could it just be filmed that way? Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. possible. But and since some of the stuff at the end, you know, with the, you know, with the bison next to them and stuff, I don't know. But they're showing this real courtroom footage, perceivably. I don't know. It well, could be it could be faked. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not too interested in it. I don't really like this kind of stuff. Um, I'm with you, you man. Know, real crime <laughs> stuff doesn't really yeah. get me at all. So. Um, yeah, Marsha, you can let us know how it is. All right, well, <laughs> if it goes on Netflix, I'll let you know. All right. Well, that's going to do it for our reaction to this one, you guys. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, let us know in the comments down below if it was interesting to you at all, if you like this kind of stuff, or if it's a pass uh, like it is for Fuego and I. Um, but until next time, I've been Cecil Laird. Gracias, I've been having Fuego. I'm Marsha Parker. And remember, stay, stay scared. scared.